The Mercedes-Benz Superdome will not be the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for much longer, at least if that's according to a new report today. That report says the German automobile company will not renew its naming rights contract with the Saints. And sports director Doug Mouton is all on top of it. He's live outside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for now with that story. Doug. <laughs> Yeah, and it is a windy evening outside the Superdome right now, Katie. Yeah, the current naming rights contract ends in July of 2021. So this is still 14 months away, and there has been no official announcement from Mercedes-Benz at this point. But assuming the story in Forbes magazine is true today, and there's no reason to believe it's not true, this really would not come as a surprise. Mercedes-Benz actually first bought the right to put its name on the Superdome back in 2011. They signed a 10 year contract at that point. Now, since then, their name has also gone up on the new Mercedes Benz Stadium that opened in Atlanta in 2017. Mercedes Benz also owns naming rights to stadiums in China and in Germany, which where, like you said, is their corporate headquarters. But pulling out of New Orleans did seem likely since the Atlanta Stadium was built. Do you really need two stadiums in the southern United States? Now, the Saints are the primary negotiators on this deal. And again, it's still 14 months away, so there's plenty of time. And the Superdome remains one of the most iconic sports facilities in the world. There's really no reason to believe the Saints will have any trouble finding a new naming partner when this contract does run out. Of course, the Superdome opened up in 1975. It opened up as the Louisiana Superdome. It held that name from 75 until 2011 when Mercedes-Benz became the first naming right partner on the Superdome and now if the report is true and we believe it is in 14 months the Saints will have to find a new naming rights partner but it is the Mercedes-Benz Superdome until July of 2021 for now reporting live outside the Superdome Doug Mouton Eyewitness News Katie